Welcome YouTube, VST here. This is my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra Exynos 2000 200 Android 13 One UI 5 Beta 2. Wow, wow, such a huge intro. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to become the Wi-Fi developer. But first things first, like what the heck is a Wi-Fi developer, guys? To explain in the best way, I'll probably show you, but remember developer settings, like you go inside your system settings, you click several times on your system information, and then you can do plenty of nice stuff. All right, this is pretty much the same. The Wi-Fi developer is like the developer options for Wi-Fi, and yeah, it's available in Android 13 for the One UI 5. I'm not sure if you can access it also on the Pixel. I will try later, but now first things first, how the heck we can get to be a Wi-Fi developer? Because remember, developers, developers, developers. Developers, 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 Yeah, you got my point, guys. Open your settings, go inside yeah. connections, all right? Click on your Wi-Fi. While you're inside, yeah, you're gonna have these three dots here. And there is something called the Intelligent Wi-Fi, which already presents some very nice options available for your beloved Samsung. But you wanna be a pro, right? And just leave these to the noobs. So if you want to be a pro, just click several times on Intelligent Wi-Fi. Two, three, four, five. You're now two steps and one step away from being a Wi-Fi developer. Boom, and now I am a Wi-Fi developer, oh my God. What have I done with my life so far? You know, this feels great. Yeah. I'm gonna go now and open Wi-Fi developer options, guys. You have connection information, nearby Wi-Fi information, the Wi-Fi and network diagnosis, and then you have some Wi-Fi history, router-specific history, time-specific history, and also some network-specific history, which again give you application-specific history. I would say this is very specific, right? But let's start with the first one. Connection information, guys. I'm now connected through my router on my 5G network, and you can just see some quite nice information, also the RSCI, and also the signal strength and DBSD L2 status with the frequency with the KWR, which I don't know what it is, the country code, security type, the generation of the Wi-Fi, the protocol, the modulation, and also the L3 status. Essential information like IP addresses, gateways, and etc. DNS is the TCP information, DNS results, so it is really, really very very powerful you can also see guys the link speed which is quite important if you want to test bandwidth out there and also txrx receiving sending of data okay nearby wi-fi information is probably the best insight why because you can check the wi-fi signal strength of all of your naughty neighbors right and then you can apparently just try to choose and position yourself on a better channel now the channel information guys channel utilization all right, now I'm using right now channel 11 and I don't really see too many things happening there. Let me just try to hit the refresh, but because I was using some other applications in the past that can do this, I think I'm pretty much alone on my 11 channel. But guys, you can click and you can check some of the information for all the neighbors that you have around. Okay, like this one here, this one, you can just see their devices, frequencies, best to worst and of course the channel utilization. Now I'm not sure if this is really okay like this. I probably should still see something, but it seems that I'm the only one on channel 11. Now Wi-Fi and network diagnosis, guys, you can just see there are plenty of things there. You have the Wi-Fi diagnosis, also the network diagnosis, right? Inside settings, you can current the connection state, you can target domain for DNS query, right? So for example, let's just try to the target the google.com all right for a dns query so you just have access to some very simple i would say network tools okay now run dns check see guys you already feel like a pro right run connectivity check boom we are able to resolve the google Come domain name to the DNS and etc. You can also go to manage network and there are other things that you can perform. All right, guys, now Wi-Fi history, the router specific history, guys, gives you some nice information, whatever happened to your connection and also time specific history. We yeah, this looks a bit weird even for me being right now a Wi-Fi developer, but you can just check the receival of the information, the setting, the bad one, the retry. So, I mean, if that's your thing, it's there. And then we have also 
to the network history, the application specific history, guys. And I think this is quite cool because you can just see and see, like, for example, the very nice Android application called AccuWeather, what exactly it was doing, you know, was it targeting any connections and etc. and etc. Right now I can just see those one, let's see Telegram, right? I, if I click here Telegram, I would expect to have a lot of connection, good sockets, bad sockets. This is application specific history. This has been how it feels to be a Wi-Fi developer. Now it's not available in the 4.1 or 4.1.1 One UI. So you need to have already Android 13 One UI 5 Beta 2. And if you want to see how this goes, you can check my video and also a review of the One UI 5, the nice features and etc. And if you are here for the first time and you like content like this, subscribe. Stay safe. Meet you soon.